Welcome to Not Without Coffee with Glenn Mathis for the coffee connoisseur who wants to know more about their cup of ambition. Join Glenn as he uncovers some fun facts about coffee and coffee history, his own storied past with this bean brew, and some new coffee trends on the horizon. Glenn has his cup. It's time to grab yours and start this episode, Not Without Coffee. Here's Glenn. Hey, crew of the brew, welcome back. This is the new year, 2022. I hope you have a happy new year. I don't want to start off with the new year right. My goals are basically to help you unwind, to entertain and inform you. Plus, also, I do want to provide, like I've said this in the past podcast, with the best possible quality on coffee-related topics. And I promise to keep it drama-free, stress-free, not overexciting, yelling your ear. I'm not trying to, like I've said before, I'm not trying to excite you, pump you up, or anything of that nature. Not that there's anything wrong with podcasts that do that, but I feel there is a need to try to help you unwind, to relax, to slow down a bit, to take it easy, to take some few moments per week just to relax. Sip your coffee and just enjoy those few minutes that we have together. You know, we are in our winter season here in in the U.S. And one good thing, this is the perfect hot coffee weather. And what's better than a fireplace, a hot cup of coffee, and maybe a good book? Even if you don't read, how about just having your feet propped up, warm fire going, and a little soft music? And to contribute to the soft music, let me get this going right now. Now, here's uh, some soft, lovely melodies to keep us in that zone. We are now in our unwind zone. And like we start every podcast, let's get those three relaxing, deep, smooth breaths. Starting with deep inhale number one. And exhale through the mouth. Yes. Breathe in one more time through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Let's get that third and final inhale and exhale. And exhale through the mouth. Yes. Got your cup of coffee? Go ahead and grab a sip. Now, fellow free lovers, I do want to give you an apology. I owe you an apology. Reason being is... It's been a minute since I've uploaded a podcast, and I've recently gotten over COVID, the Omicron variant. It took me about two, two and a half weeks. Uh, That thing is no joke, so brothers and sisters of the brew coffee, that is, be careful out there. I mean, I wouldn't want that on my worst enemy, but I'm fully recovered, and I'm ready to help you relax and unwind start this year off i know i'm kind of late with starting the year off with podcasts but i'm gonna catch up i got a promise i made to you and i'm gonna put out quality informative information and hope you relax for that time being and with that said now let me go over today's topic uh today's topic we're gonna go over uh starbucks which is my favorite coffee shop And I love my mom and pops because it's a personal level. But I'm going to go over Starbucks versus Dutch Brothers. This is my review on both cafes and comparison of the two. Now, I'm in Texas and Dutch Brothers, where I am, is fairly new. I don't think it's been maybe two or three years. And one Dutch Brothers recently opened up near me. Let's say five miles tops. I went in a few times and tried it out. And here is my comparison with Dutch Brothers and Starbucks. I'm going to go over that later on. Plus, stay tuned to the very end. I got a bonus I'd like you to hear about and go over it with you. So, I do need your opinion on that. So, be sure and stay tuned to the end. And let's get started. First of all, let me go ahead. I like Starbucks. And Starbucks, to me, even though they are a franchise, still, they got that atmosphere of a mom and pop feel. I love my mom and pop cafes. 
number one, I'm always more support small businesses. And number two, it's more of on a personal level than where the franchise, they pretty much about just getting you in and getting you out as fast as they can without a friendly basis atmosphere type. Now, Starbucks, they didn't have, at least, I mean, Starbucks did, let me go, Dutch Brothers, they didn't have a dine-in. It's pretty much mainly drive-thru. But they did have friendly service. I mean, I'm not asking somebody to bend over backwards, go out of their way, just a how are you doing, how's your day, here's your coffee, have a nice day. Simple as that. Not even, what, five, ten seconds? I'm not asking the world, just a smile and a friendly hello. Dutch Brothers did provide that. I like that. The menu options, to me, is not as great as Starbucks. I'm talking on Dutch Brothers here. Uh, mainly because I think they're still growing here. I'm not used to or familiar with them just yet. Like I said, with that case, with the menu options, I have to go with Team Starbucks. They had better options, more to choose from. As far as quality, Starbucks had the better quality coffee, but the sandwiches they had, to me, were just bland. To whereas Dutch Brothers really only had muffins. They had a lemon, pe- a lemon muffin, cranberry orange muffin, which was fresh for me. I, I liked them. In that study, I got to go with the dining with Team Dutch Brothers. Great, great food. What little food it had, but it was still high quality. And with the next category, I have to go with cleanliness. Like I said, though, with Dutch Brothers, they didn't have an area where you could sit down and eat in, but so much as they were a drive through To where at Starbucks, they had the go in, sit down, uh, do your homework, look on your laptop, relax, social with friends. And I liked that area. It was clean, so I'm about to go with Starbucks. Overall, I got to go with Starbucks on between the both of them. Reason being is because I am more familiar with Starbucks. I do have more years knowing Starbucks. To whereas Dutch Brothers, I'm not saying they're bad or anything bad about them. I just really don't know them quite well. I'm going to do another one each year, a comparison. And I'm going to do a comparison of other coffee shops, mom and pop coffee shops, just to go over the, my opinion on them. The categories are going to be types of coffee, the options of coffee, foods, the atmosphere, Is it a rush-rush atmosphere, or is it a down-to-earth, friendly, relaxed atmosphere? Remember here at Not Without Coffee, we are about our coffee and relaxing and unwinding. Drama-free, stress-free, that's what we are. And with that said, let's go ahead and grab a quick sip of coffee. I know I could use one, and I'm sure you could too also, right? Oh, yes, that is good. (laughs) Slowly brewed, dark Roasted Colombian coffee. Love that coffee. Now we've come close to the end. And as always, I like to include a bonus, a little added value to your day. And I've always included this in every episode and I will continue to do so. Now the bonus is, is a coffee hack. Freshly ground coffee that grinds, takes out odors that you may have. One good place to put like a cup or maybe a small Tupperware with some holes opening in it. Uh, is in your car uh, when you're driving home from uh, your with me in particular. I go to the gym and I, it's lots of times I leave my gym bag in my car, my smelly, stinky gym bag. My wife won't let me bring it in the house, so I leave it in the car, which stinks up my car. A way to offset that is a small cup with a lid with holes in it of freshly ground coffee. It also works in the refrigerator, in the other areas that may smell, and it helps absorb the over. Odors. <laughs> Another smell in my car that the coffee grinds help remove is when I transport my daughter's dog, bring him back to her house. <laughs> my car ends up with it, that wet dog smell. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? And that is a very hard smell to get out. I tried sprays and they pretty much just mix with the wet dog smell. But if you leave those coffee grinds in, that actually helps absorb the smell and get rid of it altogether. I love this hack in particular because you can cook the coffee grinds on a low heat and remove them and take them to any smelly place, particularly in the bathroom when I'm done using it. (laughs) And that helps eliminate the odor, if you know what I mean. Fellow coffee lover, I want to thank you for listening. It's always good to have you back. And I deeply want to apologize for waiting long to put out this episode. Unfortunately, I came down with COVID and I was down for about two and a half weeks. 
I will most definitely try and get back on schedule. But I do ask that you bear with me. I'm still kind of, I'm not 100%, but I'm about 95%. But I do want to thank you for listening. You enjoy the day. You enjoy your work week. How do you start your day? How do you help finish that day? And that's right, not without coffee. Take care. Fellow coffee lover, thanks for listening. Be sure to tune in every Saturday morning, Central USA. Also, sharing is caring. So tell a fellow coffee lover about your new hangout. To contact us, just go to our website, www.notwithoutcoffee.com. Take care and remember to always keep brewing.